Hey you guys, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today we are talking crankbaits, but we're going to take a totally different approach. Whether you're post-spawn in the south or pre-spawn in the north, there's another way to throw a crankbait that if you've been missing, you need to try. All right guys, today we are talking about speed cranking. If you guys were paying attention, when we came out with our crank late last fall, you've heard this information. And if you followed through, you got some baits, you got some gear, you're actually completely prepared and you can go take advantage of it again right now. For the guys that aren't familiar with speed cranking, I'm about to break it down for you. And I'm gonna give you a handful of baits. Whether you're a large mouth guy, a small mouth guy, no matter where you are in the spawn cycle, this is something that you can be taking advantage of. So let's talk about the guys in the south that are the farthest ahead because some of this information for you is almost gone. You guys are full blown headed into summer. Post spawn guys, I'm gonna make this so easy for you. If your fish are backing off the beds, they're moving out, they're not quite out on the ledges yet, get yourself a 6XD and turn that handle fast. Go out to the first ledges, leaving the spawning grounds, that first rock outcrop that the fish will go to, crank down hard, get a 6XD down there, hit that rock, pause it, let it float, burn, 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 pause, burn, 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 pause. If the fish are there, you'll get them. And if you get one, go somewhere else and repeat it until you've got a pattern and just continue to do that. And you can follow the fish with that until they arrive at their true summertime haunts. Summertime is a different animal with different baits and we'll get to that. That's not today's video. That's enough to get you through. Just get a 6XD and go catch them. For you other guys that aren't that far along, some of you guys up north are full-blown pre-spawn. Some are kind of mixed. Some guys are fishing all three categories right now, pre-spawn and post. For the rest of you, there are some different things you can do. Let's talk smallmouth. Smallmouth, pre-spawn, by the time you're allowed to get on the water, in a lot of places, there's already a wave of fish that are shallow and they're aggressive and they're feeding. And a square bill is an awesome way to catch those fish, much like you would a largemouth a couple of months ago. A couple different square bills for you. Depends on what the fish want. I mean, you could just get a little strike king and just go to work. If your fish are up there in two, three foot of water, just throw that thing up there. Burn, 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 pause. Burn, 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 pause. We like to go no rattle on the smallmouth. Now, I say that because most smallmouth fisheries are clear, not all. If you're that guy that's on a muddy water smallmouth fishery, you know that. Treat it more like a largemouth fishery. Throw rattles, throw really bold colors. Let's go back to the average guy, the clear water smallmouth guy. Something like that little Strike King, a BDS-3, a Lucky Craft, a longer, thinner profile, a little bit tighter action. That thing you can get going so fast with. All these baits, again, seven to one reel. I wanna focus on the speed part of speed cranking. This is not going down the bank, slow rolling crankbaits, banging into things. Not what we're talking about. I'm talking about throw it out, crank until you're sweating. Throw, crank, crank, crank. Second you hit something, stop. Crank, 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 pause. Crank, 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 pause. As fast as you can go, the bites are vicious. One of two things will happen. One, the fish will catch that bait head on or from the side and it will feel like a freight train. Two, they'll come up behind it on the pause so fast that they'll knock feet of slack into your line. Does that sound like fun? Feet of slack, I'm not joking. You'll crank, 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 pause, and when you go to crank again, there's nothing there. And you crank, 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 hook set, and just try to catch up to those fish. When you start cranking faster, the fish get that much more aggressive. If you've never experienced it, it is unbelievable how angry, how fast, how aggressive those fish will get. And they will start running baits down harder than you've ever experienced. We've had fish where you end up on the side of the boat. You're cranking, cranking, cranking. You get up to the boat and there's a fish behind it. We're doing figure eights. 
catching crankbait fish on the side of the boat in 20 feet of water and the water's 40 degrees. They lose their minds. That literally is what we built our crankbait for. Let's wrap up the shallow stuff. The last one would be this guy, Damiki. Tim talked about this bait recently. It reminds me of like a BDS2, which has been discontinued. It's that wider, taller, fat body bait, really wide kick, really high float. Burn, 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 pause. When you pause, that thing's rocketing back to the surface. So if you're after that fish that just is pure aggression, that's an awesome way to go. You know, we'll link all the baits down in the video description. We'll make this really simple for you. And I'll give you color recommendations for every one of them as well. Because you would be surprised, the smallmouth that will eat that guy and the smallmouth that will eat that guy, both with 30 feet of visibility. So let's talk about the deeper divers. Some of those fish are already dirt shallow, but not all of them. Some of them are still gonna be backed off. You can catch them on those big rock ledges coming in. If you're out on the Great Lakes, those fish will be way out offshore, just jumping from one piece of structure to the next, working their way in. If you're a largemouth guy, you can back up to some of our earlier videos this year. We've already talked about exactly where these fish are, where they're going. It's easy to catch up to them, but these tighter action baits that you can really speed up and burn will do great things for you. So our crankbait, which is still not available in all the colors, and we apologize, but this has been a crazy year. Demand on these things was mind boggling. It was so much more than we ever expected. Obviously the virus shut the entire world down. Nobody could have foreseen that. So some of the colors are still not available, but some of them are totally available. But we designed our crankbait tighter action for high speed fishing. See a wide wobbling crank. If you're trying to get that on a seven to one or an eight to one and just haul, that bait will drag so hard against you, it'll destroy your arm in minutes. But if you get tighter action, those baits that'll just shimmy, almost like a, like you would think a lipless, where you could just burn that thing all day long, some of these crankbaits are tighter like that and you can burn them and it won't wear you out. So our crankbait, if the fish are still out deeper, this will reach the deepest out of those tighter cranks. The next one up from that, would be a Mega Bass. Deep X 300 fits the bill perfectly. The 300, whether you want a natural color, like an MB Gizzard, or an aggressive color, you know, a see-through chartreuse, or just a true matte, bright, bold chartreuse, try them all, because you will be amazed. There are some days in that clear water that they only want that ghost natural look, but there are days where they will blast chartreuse in that bright blue sky, slick, calm, clear water, they don't care. When it's flying by, they just react and they just go for it. So again, next up from that would be that Deep X 300. You know, you're fishing really effectively at high speed down to say 12 or 13 feet comfortably. Beyond that, I would definitely go to our crank where you can reach out there deeper. Shallower than that and budget friendly, we get into these three. Two from Norman, the deep little N, and then he's also got this little buddy right here. And again, I'll link them, so don't even worry about it. You can go look at the detailed photos. But the deep little N is like a budget version of the Deep X 300. It's not quite as refined. The colors are not quite as impressive. You definitely need to upgrade your hardware, but the bait will burn and it will catch them. Be prepared to tune it. You know, we've talked about how to do that. If you've missed it, I'll link it down in the video description if I can find our video where we've talked about it. But the short version is if it's leaning this way, you take a pair of pliers, grab the eyelet, and just barely go the opposite direction. If it's leaning this way, you tip it that way, but just a fraction. It's really easy to overdo it and then it'll go all the other way and just spin. If you do that, bring it back. Do it in little increments, but you can get these guys, even cheap crankbaits, to tune so well that at full speed they run perfect. Again, the deep little N or even the smaller guy is a great option. And last would be a rock crawler. You know that rock crawler will hunt and dig and bang on the bottom, bounce off the rocks, deflect, and you can go really, really fast with it. 
if those fish are up on those rock bars. I'm picturing in my mind, you know, those big, long, I'm picturing the Great Lakes, I really am. Those big, long rock bars that you get that run out into open water, but they're only like three to eight feet deep, three to 10 feet deep. This is a bait where you can throw it up on top and just smash your way down those rocks off that edge. And you can cover miles of water and pluck those fish as they move up to warm up and to feed before they go to spawn. Guys, this is a really, really fun way to fish for these fish. We focus on it in the fall and the winter. You know, we did a bunch of videos with our bait. That was what it is for. But in the north, that bite goes almost the entire summer until you start getting that slime and that muck that starts catching your crankbaits and slowing them down. As long as you've got hard cover to bounce off of, that bite exists. You can burn these baits and get reactions out of those fish. Now, as far as gear, it's the same exact stuff that we were talking about in the fall. You know, an 845 is an option, awesome option. That's a seven footer, a 906, which is a seven and a half footer. Both are great options, depending on whether you prefer to throw fluorocarbon or you prefer braid to leader. One thing on that, if you prefer that hard stop and start, if you notice that your fish are really aggressive and are reacting well on the pause, most of your bites come on the pause, if you go braid to leader instead of fluorocarbon, your starts and stops will be that much crisper and your bites will get that much more aggressive. If you notice that most of your bites are coming just on the straight burn, stick with fluoro because your starts and stops will be a little more exaggerated because that fluoro has got a little give to it. So when you stop, that bait will still pull a little bit as that line is coming back. So it won't be as crisp and clear on the starts and stops. So if you notice a trend with your fish, go one way or the other and then use the appropriate gear. And again, we'll link it for you and I'll explain which combo is for which. Guys, this is a really fun technique that will carry us all the way to summer. Now come true summer cranking, that's a different animal. We're gonna cover that later. But this transitional speed cranking is a blast. You definitely wanna give it a try. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon.